this is how I'm going to work. Um, I will use my garage, I will raise the vehicle, and I will start by inspecting the vehicle underneath to see what, what can I do, how, how can I actually physically uh, fit all the uh, piping there. Uh, so I have open hood and I have lowered the plastic cover. So let's see, I'll show you what's inside. This is uh, the coolant loop for the power chain and uh, here is the motor with the gearbox. This is compressor. Where's my finger? Here. This is compressor, this is the motor. This one is in, it's coming from the charger um, and this is coming out. And from here, today, uh, it goes to the search tank. From search tank it goes down to this, this is the water pump. Uh, and from water pump it goes to the radiator port. The radiator port here in. Under the new arrangement, here somewhere, from here, I have to install the switch valve. I'm planning to route it like uh, here and the switch valve will be right here. Um, and I could reach it from top because the surge tank, it will go out and I'll be able to slide my hands through the top to reach the valve so that I can operate it in either direction. So I'll try this angle. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable here. This is pump one. And of course, before I begin the project, I have to drain the whole system uh, from the from the coolant, right? So, but then after that, this pump, pump one, this is for the powertrain, um, in order to work in the space above it, I have to take this pump out, okay? Just uh, to gain access. I'll remove the search tank over there. Over there. And um, when I put this pump back, I have to turn it around because the outlet from the pump is aiming in this direction. And I want to have it in the opposite direction because it, it will be aiming here. And here is the second pump. This is the battery pump. Um, and um, the outlet from the pump one has to go up, down here, and then up to the first uh, component of the powertrain, which is uh, the hybrid uh, power module, the, the inverter. Um, so that would be the outlet. The inlet, is, there will be another pipe coming in this direction, and uh, it will be going to the search tank up there, which is now the battery search tank. And there'll be two branches. One will be uh, connected to the outlet of the pump tube, and the second, which will be up there further, it will be the one that will be connected to the chiller through the check valve. So that uh, when pump two comes on, it doesn't create shortcut. And uh, from here, uh, the second branching, it will go towards the battery, the outlet of, of pump two. Um, pump, pump two, and that will be this branch, the, the shortcut with another check valve, which will go there, uh, which will be for the situation when uh, the battery will need to turn on the extra cooling in, uh, in summer, so that will go there, and in uh, winter when the battery needs extra warming, so that shortcut line will be also used, so it will be connected here. The switch valve will be right here. Uh, one line will go to the inlet of the radiator, which is right here. And the, the second line will have to be directed to the battery inlet. Challenge! So here are my parts. I have um, T branches. I have L turns, a bunch of them. I have uh, four check valves, but I will need only two. And I have uh, uh, 20, I think I have 30 of these clamps. They are hand tightening, so uh, hand tight, so it's, it's much better than using screwdriver. I can uh, easily take it on and off. Um, I have a six foot long uh, 
water hose. Uh, I will need some of it. And then I have uh, uh, insulation foam, which will be used to insulate some of the, some of the piping to conserve the heat. And also this switch valve. This is the one uh, in the T shape and it has a, it's an L type. So it will allow me to direct the uh, coolant in one or the other direction. So this is a very critical part. It is made out of brass. So here is the part list. Uh, feel free to pause the video and uh, go through. Now, um, this video was assembled at a time when I have the project already completed. So I have a little bit spoiler here. Some parts uh, did not work well. Some parts uh, I didn't have enough, specifically the hose. I needed eight feet to so stay tuned for the next, uh, next video. So I was just uh, making some part uh, out of the valve, out of the uh, piping, and I managed to break the check valve. And it was not too much force that I was giving up uh, to to this. So uh, something to to worry about, you know. I'm going to glue it uh, with the super glue. Hopefully, it will be okay. But uh, yeah, this is made out of polystyrene. Um, general purpose polystyrene. The red valve inside it's a silicone, silicone rubber. So I have to fix it, do it for all of them because uh, I don't want this to break um, when it's already installed in the car. So I need to jump in. My original diagram was suggesting that the switch valve is close to the battery heater. That's not true. It's actually uh, much more closer to everything in the front of the vehicle, which is pump two, pump one, and etc. So much better representation of the diagram is like this one. And that helps to understand that here is an, an assembly uh, that can be built, which has uh, a few branches and the check valve. So in the following video will be the explanation of that part. So after inspecting the underbody, uh, I came up with very specific uh, connection, how to connect uh, all the parts using the diagram that I have developed. And uh, this is essentially uh, one of the components. So where to start? So here would be um, pump two. And uh, here would be the outlet to uh, outlet of, of, of the pump two. And uh, the liquid will go here and it will connect to inlet to pump one this is the connection uh, to the battery and here is a return from the switch valve from uh, the powertrain so the switch valve imagine that it will be like uh, like here uh, the powertrain uh, liquid will go here this branch will go to radiator and this branch will connect here and it will be routed to the battery heater and then to battery underneath when i flip it this thing will connect to the search tank okay so so that's how it works out and uh, the inlet to the pump 2 will be coming from the battery chiller so that's is it it's more difficult than i thought right the diagram is very simple uh that was the goal hey you know uh but it doesn't represent the actual distances of all the components and the distances of the piping so i will eliminate some of the piping because uh, there'll be only one search tank right uh, but uh, I have to add piping somewhere else. That will be a bit complicated because I will have to route it. I don't know what exactly. I'm not going to do it now.